Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Today, I'd like to welcome Jeff Bloss, the CEO of BCM1, the sponsor of the Top Gun Show. Jeff was appointed CEO in January of 2019 after serving as COO and CIO, respectively, for six years. Drawn to BCM1 by the company's tight-knit culture and entrepreneurial atmosphere, Bloss previously, previously spent his career in corporate leadership and telecom consulting positions. Bloss received an MBA from MIT Sloan School of Management and a BS in Mathematical Science with honors from the University of North Carolina. Jeff, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Steve, thanks very much for having me. Yeah, it's nice to have you on, man. So Pleasure. why don't you give an overview of BCM1 and your services? What do you sell and to whom? Sure, sure. Um, you know, so we're actually entering uh, our 30th year of being a business. We were founded in, in 1992. Um, our business over the course of those 30 years has gone through a, a number of, of different evolutions and iterations um, for who we are and how we went to market. Um, the thing that's been consistent, though, I think throughout the course of, of those 30 years is, is we've always been a business that's really centered on uh, enabling uh, the voice application uh, within enterprise businesses. Um, so we, we, we've done that in a variety of different ways over the course of our, our uh, history. I think today, when you think about BCM1, really our, our focus is supporting that, that voice conversation by uh, delivering uh, next-gen communication services and managed services uh, to our um, uh, clients of IT leaders um, and supporting our, our channel partner, partners nationwide. Um, you know, it's, it, it is business focused. We do have a, a full suite of services that goes up and down the stack from small to mid to, to large size enterprises, but really our sweet spot is that, that mid size enterprise uh, business. Um, when you think about the solutions that we offer, um, you know, so it's, it's a suite of next gen communication services that is UCAS hosted VoIP, SIP trunking and voice enabling um, collaboration platforms like Microsoft Teams and Zoom. And then, you know, in conjunction with delivering those next gen communication services, also providing the underlying uh, connectivity. So it's it's IP services, SD-WAN, SASE, as well as the network monitoring management and optimization uh, that go, go, uh, go, goes along with that. Um, you know, te technology, I always say uh, it, it is a technology driven business, but it's really focused on delivering uh, human based solutions. Right. And I think the, the thing that sets us apart is there are many people that are out there in market that sell a, a similar footprint of services that we offer. But I think the thing that has always set us apart um, through the, those 30 years is, is our focus on, on a very flexible and client centric model model and uh, really an intense focus on, on a, a high and world-class experience for, from a customer service standpoint. Right, right. Great answer, very thorough, I love it. Well, what's the vision and strategy of BCM1? In other words, where are you headed and how are you gonna get there? Yeah, so, I mean, as I said, it's always been a business that's been focused around a solid set of products in the, the communication space. So I think, what we have focused on in our vision over the last few years has been how do we solidify that offering? How do we grow that offering, particularly in the next gen communications front? Um, that strategy, strategy has been accomplished or, or that vision, you, you know, our roadmap to, to accomplish that has been done uh, both uh, organically and, and inorganically. So we, we, we put, made a number of internal investments within our business to help strengthen the portfolio of services that we have in that communication space. But also we've made uh, seven acquisitions over the course of the last three years, primarily targeted at strengthening the offering that we have within the, the, the next gen communication uh, portfolio of services so that we've got a more compelling offering to take out to our client base and particularly uh, to our channel partners. Um, we've been, uh, we were recapitalized under a, a private equity uh, partnership, Thompson Street Capital Partners in, in 2019. And since then, you know, we've made significant investments both internally within our people and inorganically through acquisition and the people product processes and systems that, that support our business. And I think you, you will continue to see us execute on that trajectory over the course of the next two to three years. Very nice. Well, the future looks bright for sure. Great Most stuff. Definitely. Great stuff. So why is a company like BCM1 even more important to IT leaders and resellers nationwide today than it has been in the past. Sure. Um, 
you know, I mean, you, you, you went through my, my bio and I'll give a little bit more on it. So, you know, prior to, to joining BCM in, in 2012, I, you know, I was an IT leader. Um, I, I led uh, IT services for one of the Berkshire Hathaway subsidiaries. Um, and, you know, when I think of how that role has transformed over the, the last 10 years, you know, my responsibilities were much more focused on cost efficiency, cost automation, taking cost out of the business through the, the, the use of technology. You know, today, that person that's holding that position, that's in that position uh, today is a far different role than I did. They're being asked to uh, drive top line revenue. Um, they're being asked to uh, focus on enabling technology initiatives that bring their organization much closer to their customer base. They still have the same burden of supporting the infrastructure and operations and the core table stakes of that, that technology organization to keep their business running. But they've got this you know, additional challenge of what are they doing to drive, drive top line. And so I think you know, the, the importance of an organization like, like BCM is we're able to come in and step into a client's organization and provide as good, if not better, overall experience with those core infrastructure and operation services, those core communication services, then they would be able to provide on their own. And you know, the idea is you, by leveraging a partner like BCM, you're, you're cutting out the need for you to engineer your own solutions together, working with a multitude of different service providers, call balls and strikes. You know, those IT decision leaders now have the capability to focus on things that are far more core to their business and enable a partner like BCM to step in so that they can have a superior overall experience with those core infrastructure and operations components that they need to be able to run operationally and execute on, on a day-to-day -day basis. That was a great answer. You know, I would like to follow up with a whole series on how the role of the CTO has evolved yeah. and where it's headed. I mean, I, I think it's incredibly uh, fast moving and changing. So who would have thought it would, that, that a CTO was going to have to drive top line? That's yeah. crazy. It's a different world. It's a, it's a, it's a much different world than the, than the one that I grew up in, the one that I was trained in, the one I, I learned in. And I think that's why we're kind of uniquely positioned to be able to step in and, and help people out that are, that are facing those challenges today, whether it's a partner trying to deliver those services to a client that's facing the, these challenges or an end client themselves that, 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 that is facing those kind of uh, opportunities for themselves, but challenges on internal execution today. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, Jeff, I know you're a big fan of the Top Gun show. And then I know you know there are millions and millions of people watching you right now. Why don't you <laughs> tell the viewers a fun little known fact about yourself? So uh, very, very little known fact. Very, actually, very. I was thinking about this. I was struggling to come come up with something. Very few people know this. Um, I am actually a UK citizen. Um, you can't tell by my accent, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm both a US and UK citizen. My father was uh, born in the United Kingdom. Um, and I, you know, my grandparents, one was a US serviceman during World War II, and, and my grandmother was um, a, a UK service person based out of, uh, based out of Wales. My, they met, got married there, my father was born there. So he was a, always a, a UK citizen, and I decided uh, about uh, probably 12 to 18 months ago during COVID, looking for something to do, I, I did the research and actually applied to get my UK passport. So I'm now officially a citizen of the United Kingdom. God save the queen. <laughs> I love it. I was going to make a joke about, you know, University of North Carolina does not like UK. <laughs> no, your, absolutely not. Different kind of UK. Different, different kind of different UK. Subject. Different well, kind Jeff, of UK. Thanks, thanks for carving out time out of your busy schedule to be on the Top Gun show. It's been great to meet you. And I want to wish you and your leadership team continued success. Steve, it was a pleasure. Thanks very much for having me. You have a great day. And thanks for watching, everybody.